happy Monday everybody today is the new week I have to make a quick breakfast so I could take it to work and eat it there I hate the lighting here but I thought I woke up in time but I didn't <laughs> so I'm going to rush through this breakfast and then go take the train This is everything I'm taking to work. I got my salad. This is my breakfast. I didn't have time to cook. Um, my There's milk. Well, there's um, oat milk for the breakfast. And these are my snacks. Okay, and now I'm just... I'm off to my nine to five. I'll be back home around six. I leave at five, but it takes me an hour to get here. Very lucky. Oh my God, I just got home and I hate the MTA. If you're not familiar with the MTA, they are the Metropolitan Transit Authority and they are the people that run the train stations here in New York City and they are the worst. I am not even lying. I, I, we were stuck in between two stations for 45 minutes, okay? I left work at 5 o'clock and on a normal day, I'm home by 5.50, 5.55 the, la the latest. And today, you know, this is, this is partly my fault because something was telling me to take a different train. There's two trains by my house. One, I have to take a train and then transfer to that one. That's a closer walk. And then there's another one where I could just take and it'll, it's a, I don't have to transfer, but it's a further walk. And something told me today to take the one to walk further. And then I got out of work and it was like muscle memory. I just got out of work, turned left and went to the to the other train station, the one that I wasn't supposed to take. I didn't realize I did this until I got to the train station and I paid for it. Anyways, the point is I get to the station. Um, the train is delayed for like 25 minutes. So I'm out in the platform, hot as hell, waiting for this train. It finally gets there and we're moving right along nothing's happening everything's fine and out of nowhere right before the the station before the one that i have to get off to transfer right before we get there the train just stops and like in between the two stations and we were there for 45 minutes and i'm not even exaggerating i <laughs> i have the videos of people just like screaming and then cursing the mta Bitch, we gave you 30 minutes. We were everyone was just so angry because we were just trying to get home. And this MTA, nothing ever works. They're always trying to raise their prices. The trains never work. The trains are always late. The or delayed or not running. They're always trying to fix something and nothing ever gets fixed. I, I'm so annoyed. I just got here like 10 minutes ago. It's 6.55 now. I got here like at 6.45. And it's about to pour, so I can't even take Lucky out. And then my hair, look at my hair. It was fine yesterday. And as soon as like I stepped outside this morning that it smelled that it was going to rain, it just got all puffy. Anyways, but I'm finally home after a two hour commute home. I should have just taken the other train. What? But that was my Monday. <laughs> That's the moral of this, this rant is that I hate the MTA. They are the worst. Whoever has a, you know, I wish that I had a car, but having a car in New York City is just another headache because you have to deal with parking. There's no parking. You have to park outside unless you're able to afford 
um, a, a garage. Once I rented a car and I parked it outside, the next day I, I, I was like walking to the car. Someone hit the car. I don't know how. Someone backed into the car and it looked like so they got on in the car that I rented and, and drove into a wall. And then the other day, I don't have a car, but the other day I was walking lucky and a few days ago, a few days before that, there was a storm and I was walking by the street and I saw this tree. I'm going to, I have the video somewhere. I'm going to put it right there. But this tree decided that it was his time to go and he, and he just came off, came down on top of three different cars. Poor people. I feel so bad for them. I hope they have full insurance. Anyways, that was my Monday. Happy Tuesday. I'm back home from work. I took the nice, the good train this time and I made it home in time. Well, I had to buy some stuff for Lucky. But now I'm here about to eat some dinner. And then I have to cook some dinner. Well, not dinner. I have to cook for tomorrow and Thursday. I have my um, session with my nutritionist at 7 because, well, she's in LA. So it's like four o'clock her time. And then um, I'm meeting her at seven via Zoom. I need to delete my Zoom and reinstall it. Every time I log on, it's like so, it doesn't work properly. I have to connect it to my phone in order to use the speakers. It's really annoying. So I'm gonna try to fix that before the session starts. But today has been a really nice chill day. It was easy at work. Well, not easy. I had some stuff to do, but it wasn't so bad. The train, I had no issues. And now I'm just gonna fix the Zoom, eat my dinner, then have my session with a nutritionist, and then I'm gonna cook again. And that's it. lighting in this kitchen i don't know why it's like yellow i don't know who came up with this yellow thing with the lights maybe to imitate the sun anyways i had my session now i'm going to cook some salmon for lunch tomorrow because i have i didn't i only cook enough for to yesterday and today so i'm gonna make this and I'm also going to cook some sweet potatoes. Uh, and I have asparagus already cooked in the refrigerator. Uh, what else happened today? I joined the gym because I am not really good at working out at home. I have a Peloton, as you can see. But every day... Every day I'm like, I'm gonna work out when I get home. And then something happened like yesterday where the train is taking forever or it takes me a while to get home. And I get home and I get so tired that I don't do anything. And I've noticed, and this used to happen before too, I work out the days that I'm off from work. So like Friday, Saturday, I, I'll do the Peloton or do a workout in my apartment. But then the rest of the days, I'm just like too tired. If I get home, I'm not doing anything. So. There's a gym by my house, and instead of coming home, after I get off the subway, I'm just gonna go to the gym. I have to pack my gym bag for tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym and work out, 
usually I like to take these hiking classes on the Peloton app. This, this video is not sponsored by Peloton, but Peloton, if you're watching, please, I love you, sponsor me. But I take all my classes on the Peloton. So they, when I used to go to the Planet Fitness in Manhattan, I used to use the treadmill and I used to take their hiking classes, classes, their hiking classes. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna take a 45 minute class. I already found one and I marked it for tomorrow. I'm really excited. I got my sneakers. I got, oh, I have to do my bag. And now I just have to cook. And then I have to move mirror. Move it over there. Because I have this mirror. Let me show you. I have this mirror over here. But it's here and the lighting here is like so bad and I don't like it. So I'm gonna move it over there. Uh, where the lighting is a lot better. The lighting is a lot better, not here, but over there, cause it's by the window. So I'm gonna move the mirror over there. Um, right after I defrost this salmon, because it's still a little frozen. Maybe if I just leave, put it like this, the air fryer will defrost it. Anyways, but my fitness journey begins officially tomorrow. just got out of work I'm on my way to the gym now it's my first day back in the gym in like a while I mean I've been working out in my house but not as consistent but I'm excited to get back into my fitness journey and just get in shape because even now I'm like walking and I'm <laughs> and I'm out of breath <laughs> gone I really love the hiking class that Peloton has this is not sponsored they don't know who I am but I do have a 60 day guest pass so I'm gonna leave the link in the description in the comments so if anyone has a gym membership and they want to try the hiking classes on the Peloton app you can do it for free it's 60 days free a free trial so i'll leave the link in the description in case anyone wants to try them out i highly recommend them i really love the hiking classes that they have they also have running classes on the treadmill and you don't need 
you don't need like the peloton bike you can do it on any any treadmill 7.35 Hi boy! Hi sweetie! Hi! Oh, he's so excited to see me! Where's his thing? He's looking for his... He likes this. He likes for me to throw this. You want this? Okay, I just got home from the gym. Let's see the light. There's some sunlight. I just got home from the gym. I'm so tired. I walked here. It was a 20 minute walk. My hair is not good anymore. Let me see. Lucky. Stop. Oh wait, I can't even do this. It is 62 degrees. It's been so cold all week. It feels like the fall is here and it's still August. This is supposed to be the hottest month, but it's been so cold all this week. I have long sleeve on. <laughs> I just got home from the gym. This is my gym outfit for today. All gray, I didn't even realize that I was in all gray. But I'm starving and I need to eat something. I took a 30 minute, lucky please. I took a 30 minute class, a 30 minute hiking class with uh, Camila Cabello, I think that's her last name. But her class was harder than the one I took yesterday and it was only 30 minutes. I don't know if it was because I was already tired from yesterday. My legs were like jello from yesterday. But today the class was even harder and it was only 30 minutes. I am so hungry. I don't feel like cooking today. Today is Thursday, but it's technically my Friday for uh my day job i don't work on fridays there so after w the gym i just went to it's not really chipotle it's like a bootleg chipotle that's around my neighborhood but their food is so good so i bought a burrito bowl and that's what i'm gonna have for dinner because i didn't feel like coming home it's seven o'clock now so by the time i i have to wash dishes by the time i prep the food I cook it, it's gonna be eight o'clock and I'm like about to faint. I'm hungry right now. So I just went and I bought some food. So I'm having a burrito bowl for dinner that looks delicious. This is my burrito bowl, it's so yummy. There's chicken. Mm. They have this like honey barbecue chicken in there. It is so good. Today is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you had a great week. I had an okay week. It wasn't that eventful, which is a good thing. Um, it was a little eventful at work. I work in social services in New York City. Uh, and I also work Fridays, even though I'm off from my day job. I work at my part-time job, which I only work Fridays and sometimes Saturdays. Sometimes I work on like Thursdays. But for the most part, Fridays I'm off during the day but I work at night there's one time where I was working seven days a week 
and I was just like going crazy. I couldn't take it anymore. It was affecting my mental health, my physical health. So I gave up my Saturdays so I could have Saturdays off. But then after I stopped working, I realized that I couldn't afford to live <laughs> just on one day a week uh, and my day job. Because I work in social services, so we could pay nothing. We were supposed to get a raise. Uh, this whole They were doing this whole campaign, pay, pay something where the state was gonna give additional money to social service agencies to pay and they gave the additional money to the agency that i work for to pay us but they were like nah we don't we were not mandated to give it to you so they didn't give it to us which was really annoying we were really upset so we didn't get that race <laughs> which sucks which is why i have to work a second job because I don't know, unless you work in like corporate America and make a hundred grand a year. I don't know how, I don't know how people live in New York City. Or you like, I work with this lady. She has lived in the same apartment since like the 70s and her rent is $300 because she's been there for so long. She's like protected against um, price increases, I guess. I was like, damn, she's, I wish. <laughs> Anyways. Where was I going with this? So yeah, I am off from my day job today and then I work. Uh, that's what I was saying. I work on tonight. I'm covering for my friend tomorrow. Uh, I, when I gave up my Saturdays, I realized that I needed the two days, even though I was like dying working seven days. I needed two days. So what I usually do, I'm being better with budgeting and like saving my money and just not spending as much during the week. Uh, so it's been a lot better, but usually I work Fridays, sometimes an extra day during the week or like once a month I work on a Saturday, which is like a good money day there. Anyways, but that's what I'm doing today. I'm going there tonight to work and tomorrow night to cover my friend. Um, but this is the end of this vlog, this episode of Adulting in the City. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be doing them every week on Mondays. I was able to edit last week on time. So I'm going to end this one here so I can start editing and post it on Mondays. So please subscribe to the channel um, if you're into this type of content or entertainment content. I do a lot of movie reviews as well, sometimes when I go to the movies. So thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time. Bye. Lucky say bye.